Hey guys, so today's look is on this smoky eye. So if you guys watched my like video last week, I'll link it up above if you haven't. But if you watched it last week, I had a few options of like what eye looks I wanted to do. And I went with the cup crease last week, but this week I thought I would do the smoky eye with, you know, my own little twist. So if you guys would like to see how I got the sexy, gorgeous, smoky eye appropriate for all eye types, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so starting with a blank canvas. So I've primed my brow bone and everything. I just need to prime my lid. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and apply this to my lid area, my lid space. <laughs> So now that I primed my lid, I just realised that I didn't really need to do that because I'm going to go in with a brown eye curl anyways. But, I mean, we've primed the area so it's all neutral. I mean, the eye curl will go on as smoothly anyways, but I just realised I didn't really need to do that. But, oh well. It's force of habit. <laughs> We're moving on. So I'm going to grab my Makeup Geek brown eye curl in the shade Espresso and place this on my lid. It doesn't have to be neat because we're just going to blend it out anyways, but I'm just basically applying it there. And with a little accent brush, I'm just blending the edges of that coal liner out. Just using little soft swiping motions, like pulling it down, and then I just kind of go back and forth. I'm bringing it up just above the crease. Because it's going to help transition the other colours. So I'm just kind of creating a little dome shape. And I'll actually go in with it again one more time. Just to make sure it's a really pigmented base. Keeping most of the pigment towards the lash line area. And then just blending it out again. Just the edges. And this one doesn't have to be blended out as much. Because we've already got that initial blend already. Once I've placed on the base, I'm going to go in with a brown shadow from my Morphe palette on a pencil brush. This is just a nice uh, kind of maroony deep brown. I'm going to place that in the crease. So as you can see, I'm just starting soft. And building up that colour. And then just taking some of that maroon shade, I'm just going to blend out the edges a little bit. Now I've still got that harsh line, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little buffing brush and just blend that out. It's just clean, a clean brush, any kind of fluffy brush will do, and just buff out the edges. Now that we've softened that line, I'm going to take this deep orange shade from the Morphe palette and place that on with a petite crease brush right over we place that kind of blended brown so we're just transitioning it into the orange then on that fluffy brush I'm taking this light orange shade and just further buffing out the orange edges going in and out from inner to outer corner like that I'm just bringing some of that orange back for my brow bone, I'm taking Shimmer Shimmer on a pencil brush and I'm just applying that to the very high point of the brow. And then I'm just blending that out with some of that light orange shade, just so that there's no harsh lines. For the lid, I'm going to take this stunning shadow from Morphe. It's in their single eyeshadow collection. It's the shade Sapphire. It's a beautiful, beautiful shimmery blue. And I'm going to place that all over the lid, making sure the most pigmented part is on, like near the lash line and the center of the lid. And then taking those two browns again, I'm just buffing out the edges, kind of just blending sapphire into the browns. So I've got a bit like a purpley blue tinge to it, so I want to bring that into this eye look. So I'm going to grab this beautiful purple shade, it's like a plum purple. It's from Sugar Pill and it's the shade Poison Plum. And on a pencil brush I'm just going to play, like pack this onto the um, outer rims of Sapphire and then kind of blend it onto the blue. 
just kind of smudge it over the blue a little bit and then blending out the edges with that brown shade that maroon brown and then over with that deep orange shade and that light orange shade <sighs> and see how we have that like mix of the blue and the purple I'm just going to place a little bit of sapphire right in the centre of the lid to really just make that part pop but it's still got that purple in there for my tight line I'm going to take this black eye coal from Makeup Geek it's the full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade Obsidian and place this on my tight line and waterline for my inner corners, I'm first of all going to apply down a base and I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and just applying that to the very inner corners of my eye. And I'm just kind of softening the edges. And for my inner corner, I'm going to take Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer and just pack that on where we place down that um, cream. Next is for mascara and I'm going in with my Argan Wear Mascara in black. And for lashes today I'm going in with my Annie Tude Lashes in the style Feisty. And they're just so fluffy you guys. You can just see everything behind them. They're a bit of drama, a bit of something something but they're just not too intense. So let's continue with the bottom lash line shall we? So taking Sapphire on a Morphe M326 brush I'm going to start wiggling this really tightly against my bottom lash line. And then on a pencil brush I'm taking that Poison Plum shade and just buffing out that blue. Once you have a little something like this, um, take that maroon shade and we're going to start buffing out the purple a little bit. And then taking that orange shade that we used in the crease, that deep orange, we're going to start buffing out the brown. And then taking some of that light orange shade, I'm just going to buff out that deep orange with that fluffy brush. And for a final touch, I just want a little bit of like a little flourish on the inner corner of the eye. So I'm going to get in with Pegasus and just place that on with a little Zoeva brush. Just like that. And then just finish off with some bottom lash mascara. And that's the finished smoky eye. Ooh. <laughs> okay guys, so this wraps up today's smoky eye. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you would like, make sure you leave your request for my next... Uh, for um, any like future videos that you want me to create. Otherwise guys, have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye.